Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Dylan Spartan here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Destiny. Yeah. I know all you boys been wanting some Destiny back up here. I know you guys loved it the first time I brought it to you. Um, yeah, I'm playing, uh, this is my first Crucible match in probably three weeks using the, um, Sir's Regime. Then I realized that the Hawk Moon is better and switch back over to that. Ooh. A little bit of heartburn there, bro. And yeah, takes me a little bit to get in the rhythm, as uh, you can see here. I thought I had my shotgun, but I didn't. Uh, that was pretty stupid of me. But yeah, and yeah, I'm still not the light that I wanted to be. But you know, it's whatever. That's why I play Crucible. I don't have any friends to play with on Xbox anymore. Doesn't really matter to me though. It's life. You know, you get used to. It. You live. And it's fun. Well, look at me. I'll play this dude right here. You ready? Ready? He's about to get outplayed for reals. Told some goats. I've never played on this map before either. Just a disclaimer. So yeah. Pull my sniper rifle. I have no idea where these guys are coming from. And this guy just blitzes across the screen. And now I'm like, oh yep, yep, yep. So now I'm starting to understand it. Pop this dude out. And there's two oh oh put a nice throwing knife into that guy. He's gonna take some damage and get two assists. So yeah, just wanna talk about some destiny, you know. Very high quality game. Uh, it's this is a game that has, uh, it's got a long life, and if you don't think it has a long life, well, I mean people have been pl were playing this all year. This dude, that was that was a good play by that guy over there, and like people didn't stop playing this game. Like when Destiny one, Year One came out, which was nowhere near as good as Destiny Year Two. As a soft disclaimer right there. I didn't even get a kill there. I just popped up so many bullets in those guys. And, like, honestly, this game might be better than Black Call of Duty. I'm not going to say it's better than Black Ops. But I'm going to say it, it's, it's better than Call of Duty because of its last life. And the way that it, it just lasts so long, it never gets old. It's very repetitive, don't get me wrong, but it's repetitive in a fun way. The grind. Like, once you reach Master Prestige, you're like, oh, what's the point in playing this game anymore? And that's pretty much the whole reason. It's just the grind. And look at me. Finally whip out the Hawk Moon. And I realize what I've been missing out on this whole time with this horrible accuracy. But I still pop this guy in three shots. It's just the most OP gun in the game by far. That was a good play by me with my throwing knife. Man, the th the, when, you're using, when you're playing Crucible, guys, you have to make sure that if you're a hunter, you don't use the shadow shot. Please. Please, guys. Like, until, oh shoot, I think the update came out today, but, like, you can use three quivers, but, if we're being, if we're being painfully honest, let's, the golden gun, okay, the precision grenade is one hit kill every time, but when you're using the, uh, I think there's a, oh, wait, maybe there's a void precision grenade, I'm not really sure, I haven't used void in a while, this guy totally outplay, outplays me. I was just being a noob because, you know, I haven't played this game in a while. But, anyways, the, the throwing knife, the fact that you can have two of them, okay, that's really useful. And then if you put on Young Ahamkara's Grasps or whatever, which I really haven't, um, I have them, but I haven't, I didn't put them on because I was using the Knucklehead Radar, which is really useful in Crucible because you always get your, um, radar even when you're aiming down sights. Um, but, like, if you use that, then you get two of those, the grenade things. But look at this, look at this, ready? Pull out my, pull out my weapon one two three it was just it was just easy it was just easy peasy you know what I mean just taking them out so easily and when you're using the bow it's a lot harder to aim and stuff and it takes longer and it's less effective most likely they get taken out too so I, I like I personally liked the gunslinger it's more fun in my opinion and when you're using shadow shot, you lose that thing real quick. I just realized that I'm just I'm gonna die, so I just chill back here. I go on unstoppable. I don't even know if it's unstoppable, but something good happens. Take this thing out, boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh, this guy's coming. In. He wants some goods. And look at that finger trigger, boy. Double down. Who gonna stop me, huh? Right. So let's get back on topic. That's why you, yeah, yeah. Script your things. Um, Destiny, very high quality game. I just get, bam, shut down by this dude with the taking that thing. But 
yeah, Destiny, it's a really high quality game. Like, you can tell they put a lot of time and effort into this game. And it really shows. Oh, watch me snipe this guy. Bam. He gone. And, honestly, this game is one of my favorite games of all time. Up there with Black Ops 1. And Black Ops 3 is also a great game. I just thought I'd hop on Destiny to show you guys this. Just so you know, I'm still going to be playing Black Ops 3. So don't be freaking out or anything like that. Okay? Thank you. <clears throat> but yeah, this Hawk Moon wrecks because once you upgrade it, three bullets do like 1.5 times damage. So you can get a two shot kill with this gun. And if you get a precision shot and then one of those little thingy majiggers, then they're dead. They're, just, they're, they're donezo. And I almost kill myself with my own grenade. I do that all the time. Good thing you didn't, I didn't. Um, but yeah. Didn't even go for the heavy ammo just thinking about it. And as I was saying, Destiny and Black Ops 3, two of the, probably one of the two most popular games out there on the market, I would say. Fallout 4 just came out, I'm not going to buy that. Anymore. I completely wasted this golden gun. I don't know why I did this. But one of the, top, the probably top three or four, Fallout 4 is probably in the top three, I'd have to say. And... I don't know, Black Ops 3 is really fun, but I did find a couple of uh, weird things about it. There's a little bit, it just came out, so there's still a little bit of a couple of problems with it. I didn't watch, I didn't think I'd kill this guy, but I just completely outplayed him. Ooh, headshot, take that boy out with my throwing knife. I tossed the other one, but I missed, and this guy didn't, didn't even see me. And I don't even know how I got, how I survived that one, so I bounced. And... Black Ops 3 is a very high quality game, don't get me wrong, but I'm saying it's gonna die, just like every Call of Duty dies, and that's the sad thing, Call of Duties don't last the whole year, and I, I don't know, if I would've just gotten a precision shot, he would've been dead, they just don't last the whole year, guys, like, that's the problem, Destiny, people play it year round, and like, it's not like people stop playing it, like, if anything, as the year grew on, I gravitate towards Destiny more, and... I feel like that's just something that's gonna happen. I have no idea what this guy just threw at me. That grenade, I have no idea what that was. And I don't know, boys. What do you think? Do you guys think that uh, Destiny's gonna last, or do you think that uh, Black Ops 3 is gonna outlast? I've been asking myself that question for a while. But one of my favorite specialists in Black Ops 3 is probably the uh, girl with the Annihilator, the Seraph, or whatever. Girl with the Annihilator and Combat Focus. Combat Focus is really helpful, but by far Overdrive is my favorite. It's just so much fun just running around the map, running past people. It's not really that great, but it's just fun. And that's really all I care about is having fun. So, yep. Destiny, by far, use the Hawk Moon if you guys have it. If you don't have it, just grind for the exotic engrams. Use your three of coins. Uh, do the weekly nightfall and daily heroic strikes and just pop the three of coins. It's 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 really the easiest way to get exotic engrams. I've gotten a ton of them. I got the Suros from one. I got the Telesto. I, I totally forgot that I had it and I wasn't using it, which is stupid of me. But yeah. Oh, got another text from one of my hoes. Let's see what this one says. Ooh, a nice text. <laughs> All right, boys. That pretty much is starting to wrap up this video. It's coming to a close. I carry my team to victory once again. Destiny, one of the most high quality games of all time. Uh, just, I love this game. I, just, I love it. There's really nothing better than Destiny. Pull out this weight, this thing, right as the game's about to end. I don't know how I didn't kill that guy. I shot him twice. And then I don't know how I missed him. I have no idea how I missed that guy. But that pretty much wraps up the video, boys. I'll see you on the next one. Five modes of light. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Peace out. Little Spartan, out. Peace, boy.